Hello, hello everybody. It's your old pal Tuna here and welcome back to another video. This week I have for you a bit of a studio vlog, a bit of a con vlog, and we're gonna open things up with a cheeky little trip to the art supply store. <laughs> I needed to pick up some new wooden panels to do my commission paintings on and, you know, decided to take a little bit of a look around while I was there, pick up some stuff that I didn't have on my list. I also hope you enjoy the new intro animation that I created. Um, long time coming. Obviously, we adopted our second cat, Flapjack, back in the summer, and I just haven't had time to sit down and, you know, create <laughs> this new graphic for you, so I hope you like it. Otherwise, yeah, sit back, relax, and enjoy this week's vlog. The stuff that I picked up from the art supply store included my gesso board panels, which are my favorite surface to use with my acrylic gouache. I also grabbed two different sketchbooks. One was really cheap and one was on clearance for half price, and they're both similar but different to the Moleskine ones that I usually use. I also grabbed two brushes and a little gift for my dad for Christmas. Good morning everyone so i'm sneaking a cheeky little con vlog in the middle of this vlog this is only a one day event it is a sort of industry event for people in the computer graphics cg vfx industry as far as i'm aware but they have an artist alley that's open to any artists who want to apply so i thought Pretty low risk, let's give it a try. I'm keeping my pack up pretty small and simple. My dad is giving me a ride not too far to where the actual event is. We will set up, we will vend for a day, and I will see you at the end of the day um, to discuss how things have gone. Setup went really well. Uh, it probably took me less than 30 minutes because, you know, practice makes perfect. And having everything kind of pre-set up on these buildable little bits and bobs is very helpful. And I'm kind of obsessed with this little window setup. So I think going forward for these six feet tables, that's what I'll do. And you can see I also got my um, garment rack, which is kind of 
over and hanging over my table and hopefully no one gives me shit for that but i think it worked out really well and yeah um everyone around me who's done this one before says that it is good and busy we will see i brought some work to do if things do not turn out to be good and busy but a whole bunch of people i know are vending so i'm going to walk around say hello and pretty soon we'll get started <laughs> all right i'm finished my walk around i'm actually like very interested and impressed because a lot of people here are people i've never seen before <laughs> and I've, I've been around for a long time i go to a lot of events i you know it never feels to surprise me uh the breadth of people that exist making amazing art that i'm not aware of in the community anyway i think i'm gonna do a little bit of shopping today and because i like didn't really pack for this show i just sort of took all the stuff that was packed for pentagon and left it packed and brought it here um i did forget some things uh i forgot all of my packing materials all the like bags that i might offer people to carry their stuff uh because i took them out to pack orders and i didn't put them back in oh i also unpacked my i have a go bag for cons that has like tape and scissors and um, pins and rubber bands and measuring tapes and all kinds of like that sort of thing anything that I might possibly consider becoming interested in needing while I'm setting up my booth or during the day and for some reason I took the tape and the scissors out of the go bag and I assumed that smart passed me left them where they belonged but she did not so yeah I um I had to make do and I made do and lessons were learned and this is a good trial run for next weekend where I'm doing a two-day not like more important show, but m higher risk, <laughs> higher reward sort of show. So now I don't really need to repack for that. I will be able to take inventory while I'm here today uh, and know what I need to restock and then put that stuff back in my go bag, etc. So that was a painting, and it's downscale. Me too! Do the one that come back and uh, Those ones are 10. You're right, I didn't put a thingy out. I have it somewhere. And you're also welcome to combine um, the buy three, get one free with the prints and the sticker sheets. No. Um, yes. They have yeah, of course. You guys are going to be here all day. <laughs> You can help yourself there, yeah. Perfect, thank you so much. Amazing. Uh, would you like a plastic sleeve? Sure. Okay. Um, and then playing with card? Oh, you got cash? Even better. All right, so it'll be 30 on the nose, please. This is the budget, right? <laughs> well, thank you kindly. I'm going to throw an extra thank you sticker in there as well. That's a good reaction. I'll take that. <laughs> Two of the wanted ones. Uh, do you need a plastic sleeve? Tap. Yes. Yeah. They're just a little GST, so it'll be ten fifty. Can I get you a receipt at all? Part as well. Thank 
Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I'm glad you appreciate it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Thank you so much. No, I get that all the time. They're like, I know you from the internet. And I'm like, and I have a corporeal form. Oh my God. It's nice to meet you here. I I have little gifties for fans. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, so like, yeah. Yes. Yeah, and you are you're an artist as well. Yeah, I just the, the Discord. Yeah, the Welcome. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. And you are like illustrator, animator. Uh, I, I did the animation. Cool. Fair. Fair. Yeah, so more illustrator. Awesome. Yeah. Ready to go? Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, you got a sleeve. We're good to go. Enjoy. Thank you very much. <laughs> that will welcome to Vancouver. It's uh, it's rainy, but it's not as cold as Toronto, so oh. I think you'll enjoy it. Okay, just take it. Yeah, take it all in. IRL. Yeah, you can grab them right off of there. <laughs> Cute girls, cats, and food. Those are like my three favorite like, things, so like I'm a simple one. <laughs> and I've got it in the plastic. It also has the, the peel off. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah. Beautiful. Would you like a little plastic sleeve for them? Yes, it, It's very sweet. Thank you. I'm just glad that I can like make helpful content you know, for people yeah, because... For sure. Absolutely. It's very helpful. It, yeah, like, it's hard out here, you know? We out yeah. here grinding and any any way we can help each other and then I really hope the Discord will be good for you as well. It's very helpful, for sure. And it's very nice to meet you. And I know you have some doubts and stuff for the but there's more people on Oh my god. Shut up. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> uh, that really means a lot to me. That's why I like coming out to these two because like I get to actually like I know, interface with people. Different than, like, online yeah. like, yeah. I'm sure I will see you around. Yeah, oh, for sure. I'm gonna be the yeah. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Have fun. <laughs> Okay, I am back home. I did not get a chance to film the takedown because like, long story short, a whole bunch of people came out of a panel room right as we were closing the artist alley and they all ended up standing roughly directly in front of my booth. So there was no room to set up a camera and I needed to get out of there in a hurry anyway. I just got in and I wanted to talk to you immediately about how the day ended up going. Which to put it bluntly, um, like much, much better than I was expecting. So I think I mentioned that this event is like kind of a industry event slash new artist alley slash kind of undefined sort of situation. And I decided to take the risk to attend because I was under the impression that it was like for industry people so mostly other artists and i have noticed that my work generally does resonate with other artistic type people probably you maybe you maybe and so for the i think it was 100 dollars table cost or something like that it seemed like a nice enough way to spend a day if it had been two i probably wouldn't have because that's a long that's a long time sitting in a convention hall but it went by very quickly and the first part in the morning was very slow but i had some commission stuff on my ipad that i wanted to bring with me and work on and i got all of that done and as well there was time to walk around and chat with people and something that i thought was cool that i think i mentioned as well a lot of different people than the ones that i usually see in the con circuit because i guess these are people who maybe only do a couple of events a year and so it was very fun to introduce myself slash meet slash buy slash whatever and yeah because it was not too busy there was time to go around and do that but it wasn't super slow like it definitely was a bit of a crowd of wanderers some like good opportunities to chat with people and give them like time to really look at my whole booth and for me the risk paid off I mean <laughs> I didn't really consider it a risk because there wasn't really a lot at risk beyond just my time but I ended up almost selling as much as I usually would want to at any one day event which is about a thousand dollars I was just short of that and a lot of people were buying larger volume purchases like higher ticket items and more than just like oh five dollars here five dollars there hi Nori yeah, Nori, we get it. You're the main character. Nobody forgot. Don't worry. Hi, Blackjack. Double trouble. <laughs> 
So overall, I am super glad that I went. I know that a lot of people did not have as much success as I did there. And I mean, you know, your mileage may vary. I think that this just goes to show that sometimes if you know your, your niche and your audience and you have a good feeling about something, even if it doesn't seem like an obvious choice, give it a try. I am tired though. I had a lot of coffee at the start of the day and it sure wore off about a couple hours ago. So I am ready to get cozy, to watch tonight's hockey game, to eat some dinner. And I don't think this is the end of the vlog. Future Tuna might correct me. I'll take a look at the footage that I have, uh, but yeah. All right, next clip, yeah. everybody disembodied voice tuna here now joining you for the rest of the video <laughs> as you can see lit life with two cats is never a dull moment i actually usually have to wait until they've gone to sleep which is between 1 and 3 p.m before i can really sit down and do a task like a painting i usually like do all of my more high impact stuff at the beginning of the day like packing suitcases or doing chores because they're active and i might as well be active too because if i try to do that stuff after they've gone to sleep it'll wake them up and the whole system falls apart so welcome to the painting portion of the video this is a commission that i'm completing for some folks who have been like friends and supporters for a long time i don't usually work in this style anymore if you go back and watch some of my videos from like two years ago you will probably recognize i use this style more often back then but it yeah, I just kind of like retired it in favor of the pet portraits, but coming back to it now um, was actually a really fun and exciting process. So yeah, I'm working on those gesso boards that you saw me purchase earlier in the video. And in order to get my sketch transferred, I used a charcoal transfer technique by coating the back of the printed sketch with charcoal and then tracing on top of the lines that would be my guidelines for filling in. Obviously I skip all the details because they're just gonna get painted over anyway. And then in front of me, I have the digital sketch version of this piece that I am using to reference Hi Flapjack for my uh, process here. And then one thing that I thought was really cool is I used to be more like paint by the numbers in this technique when I first was using it to plus at is <laughs> Shut up, Flapjack. Yes, as I was saying, so it used to be more paint by the numbers, but now that I have more experience doing more freehand freestyle painting with the pet portraits, it's kind of leaked into this style. So I ended up with this really fun, you know, very clean and thought out composition and um, application of paints, but then with a lot of freedom to <laughs> work with light and shadow uh, to end up with, I think, a really, really strong finished piece. I'll let you be the judge of it when we get to the end, but this was the most fun that I've had painting in a while. 
I, as you know, uh, it's been up and down for me over the past few months, uh, but I feel like every time I complete a piece of art and I feel really good about it, it just reinvigorates my desire to create and to share and to constantly try new things. I think that's what keeps art really fun for me is not getting too stuck in a rut or getting too repetitive with the kind of work that I'm doing. I'm going to start booking for my 2025 commissions relatively soon. I held off on filling spots just because I wanted to make sure that I completed everything that I had to do in 2024 before I started, you know, taking other people's money and stuff like that. But I'm not sure if I'll offer this one as, you know, regular commissions, definitely by request. I'm noticing that my commissions are making up a pretty large part of my small business income. So it's nice to have more options to offer people. But painting is like a full body sport. By the next day, my shoulder was aching so much. I must have, I think I painted for like at least six hours to get this one completed, plus all the prep time. And I can only really do that twice a week tops. And then, you know, again, with, with having different art styles, it's also more fun if I spread my tasks out during the week and make sure I'm doing different things from day to day. But anyway, it's nice to have different options. We'll see about offering this as more of a regular commission idea. And the main thing that I want to do is do more personal work that's traditional. So make more paintings that are like more fine art, more like for me, maybe to sell as originals. Um, and I think combining this style with the pet portrait style, there might be something there, you know? As we reach the end of this video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching, for sticking with me while my upload schedule is still a bit up and down. But if you are interested in supporting my work, supporting the channel, there are a few things you can do. The first thing is you can pop over to my online shop, artbytuna.com slash shop. And we do have a postal strike in Canada right now, so shipping prices are a little bit higher as I need to use an alternate service. But you can grab something in time for the holidays. I have stickers, prints, books, all kinds of fun stuff there. And and alternatively, if you'd like to support me a little bit more long term, you can join my Patreon, join my snack pack over there. I have quite a few options. I have a tip jar tier as well as a mailable rewards tier where you can get stickers, prints, and all that fun stuff straight to your door. So a big shout out to everybody who is already supporting me over there. I literally couldn't do it without you. So that's it for today. Stay sparkly. Don't let the cruel world dull your shine. And I will see you next time. Damn it. Move it.